Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Mauer. And, and this, this is, is IF Extra. Extra. So, how is everyone this week? I've had a lovely week off, doing not a lot, and seeing friends, and a bit of spring cleaning. <laughs> mm. It was nice, but I'm back at work now, so... <laughs> what have you been doing all last week? Um, well, two things, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, yeah, you know, let's say the boring bit. I, I've, been, I've been doing some client work and things, but, you know, that's good because it lets us actually pay to keep doing all of this stuff. Um, but also, uh, last week we launched the year in review thing. Oh, yeah. So you could go back and see all of the previous um, picture, description, community pick uh, winners uh, and challenge winners. And also you could see your most popular items for, the, like the most popular item you did each month for a year. Wow. And previous years. Wow, that's amazing. I'm not explaining this very well. Basically, you could be like, oh, what were my most popular items in 2022? And then you get like a nice little grid and it's like, well, in January, this. And then in February, this. And then in March, this. Cool. Um, except, seemingly, um, I mean, it, it all looked right when I was testing it. Um, I say it would go January, February, mm -hmm. March. Yeah, sometimes it was like, you know, October, March, January. Because <laughs> really? um, mixed up the months. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd forgotten to mm. get it to sort by mm. month. Okay. And by <laughs> by chance, because this is how databases work, by chance when you it, it was coming out <laughs> in the right order. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's all good. Um, but then, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it didn't always. The order was indeterminate. Okay. would be the technical term uh so I've, I've put a sort on it now and uh and it's all good well i thought i'd fixed it in that i made the change on my copy of it mm -hmm. and didn't actually put it up to the live site so i was like yeah i've fixed it and people were like yeah it's still happening <laughs> um, so it is actually fixed now cool. um, so yes i've sorted that out and uh people have had a look at it and uh yeah yeah it's it's interesting looking back at things that you've forgotten know, it's uh, yeah. it's very cool if you've, been, if you've been here a few years, you can go mm. way back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's very cool. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to check this out, there are links now on the community page, which will take you to the, the sort of the general overview one that shows uh, all of the weekly winners and things like that. Or if you look at your profile page on the website, uh, there's a link to see your own one. Cool. Um, that's about it, really. Okay. Mm. Right. Let's go and see who won this week's awards. Picture of the week this week goes to Cyan64 for Snoozing Fox. I just thought it was so cute and I love the colours and his beautiful ears. Looks like he's dreaming about something nice. Well done, Cyan. My favourite description this week was Goth Lady Snapping Her Fingers by Jay Siegel. Now this is one of those interesting ones where there's a specific thing the picture was meant to be about. In this case, the whole game had been about Morticia Adams from the Adams family. And this description manages to get that across without actually doing the easy thing of just saying the name. And then afterwards, it immediately gets back to Morticia Adams. Really well done. Nice work, Jay Siegel. Community pick of the week this week goes to Luke1203 for a cat named Uwu is smart. He's so smart, he looks like a brain. This is a brilliant one. It looks like it's been undone on the chalkboard as well. Brilliant. Well done, Luke. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there, as always. Now we're going to have a look at what we were talking about last week in the forums. So last week in the forum, I said, if you were given your own talk show, who would be your first guest? No guessing who might be. <laughs> yeah, Ken Frana. KB, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm, but Rujan said, I'm not very impressed by celebrities and half the time wouldn't recognise them anyway. Apparently, Frank Lampard was in the place we went for sushi last week. When I was told, it was like, uh, that's a footballer, right? <laughs> the only famous person I'd go totally nuts for is Johnny Depp. He's my KB. <laughs> nice. <Like that. laughs> Who's your KB? <laughs> because of this, um, I'd only invite guests who make me laugh, mainly from UK um, comedy shows like Jimmy Carr, Greg Davis, Milton Jones, Russell Howard. Richard Ioid and that lot. <laughs> so that's quite fun. That'd be a funny, funny show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I hearing um, that logic is making me think because sometimes when we're you know watching a thing or or, mm -hmm. or talking about someone, I'm like, I bet they'd be really good to like go for a pint with. Yeah, yeah. And that's like just sit in the it? pub having yeah. a chat with. Yeah. I, 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 Greg Davis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he'd he'd be. Um, really fun just to like, have a chat <laughs> over a drink with, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. And Russell um, Howard is uh, very upbeat, isn't he? Yeah, he always gives yeah. you the good news, mm. not the bad news. <laughs> um, like him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I quite like that as like a, a like a, a, a chat show. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'd, I'd love to be in the audience watching that. Mm, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, Einshorn said, uh, maybe my choice would be a cat. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no one would get upset or have a cute animal. They'd leave when they were done with someone's attitude. Most shows are scripted anyway, so at least I could talk with a cat and the obligatory laughter would then be a nice extra. <laughs> Bonus points if I get paid for it. Maybe the cat even has connections to interesting people. Well, you never know. Yeah, you don't know yeah. what cats get up to, do you? Well, <laughs> you say that. Mm. What was that? Um, what was it called? Lil Bub, I think. There was, like, mm. there was a cat on the internet that talked to people. I saw, um, I, I saw it interviewing Michelle Obama. I, I think. Wow, yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, there's obviously, you know, uh, desire for that in yeah. the market. Yeah. yeah. Lam Sen said, Mike Tyson, I'd like to sit around and have a conversation with Mike. He's such an interesting life. Also, I'd like to talk to Bill Shatner. Yeah, definitely. Elon Musk, hmm. Joe Rogan, don't know who that is, and Mike Tyson. <laughs> as long as it's my talk show, I want to sit around and talk with them. Maybe I'll make a campfire and record it from different angles while we all sit around the fire and talk until we've got nothing else to say. That now, sounds like a novel idea. <laughs> that would be a cool talk mm, show, wouldn't yeah. it? Like you literally just, mm -hmm. you know, campfire chats yeah, or whatever. That'd be cool. And everyone's just sort of sat around there, mm. you know, they got like the, the mug of hot chocolate or whatever, <laughs> got a marshmallow on a stick, <laughs> and you're just all having a chat mm, around cool. a campfire. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah, we'll, I'd watch, we'll watch that. that one 90%, yeah. definitely. <laughs> I'd, I'd watch all of these suggestions. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the cat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> cool. Okay, now we're going to go and see what we're talking about next week in the forums. Are you a morning or an evening person? When are you most awake and productive? I feel more awake in the mornings and prefer to get a lot done before the evening. I get tired quite early, though. How about you? If you'd like to chime in with that, just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Cool. And don't forget, tomorrow night is quiz night. Zeitgeist, five rounds, five different topics. Yeah, if you haven't seen this before, every Sunday night at 7pm UK time over on twitch.tv slash interference, we're on Zeitgeist, the interference quiz of the week. It's a live interactive quiz stream where you play along against the rest of the audience, competing for points and places on the leaderboard. Mm -hmm. Each round's based on one of the week's drawings from Interference. Bunnery picks five of her favourite drawings mm -hmm. and then uses them as inspiration for, uh, for the round. So if we had a drawing of a seagull, we might have a round on seabirds, seaside resorts, things with wings, things that steal your chips. <laughs> um, but we won't find out until the night, then we have to guess what the topics are. Um, but do you want to like, tease us with the featured artists? Oh yeah, this week's featured artists are Quagbilly, Slate Mist, Luke1203, Walt Whitman, the famous poet, and Underscore. Mm. Exciting. Okay. <laughs> Some interesting topics, yes. <laughs> um, Alright, so that's what's happening tomorrow, mm. but what happened last week? Well, last week the winner was Rouge Island again, second time. Mm. Whoa, she's good. She got 212, and followed by El Guapo with 192, and then Grinning Goose was third with 190. Wow, yeah, nice work from Rouge Island there. Um, almost two in a row, mm. but, you know, not quite back-to-back. -back. But, uh, yeah, I remember when they won the first time, they said, oh, you know, it's a, it's a fluke, it'll never happen again. But yeah. there you go, believe in yourself. Obviously, on top of their game right mm. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, right, so, yes, we're, we're back with Zeitgeist tomorrow, yeah. uh, and that will be Season 15, Episode 6. six. Okay. And, now, because of the new schedule that we're going to try and do, mm -hmm. this is all the work-life balance thing, rather than doing 12-week seasons... And then having a week off, we're going to do six week seasons and have a week off. Mm -hmm. So, end of season tomorrow. Yeah. And then next week, that'll be the 29th, 29th yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to have a week off. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we'll be back with uh, the start of the next season the week after that. Cool. And so, hopefully, this is going to be the plan. So, we'll do six weeks, have a week off. Etc. Etc. Et as, yeah. as and we'll sort of keep to that as much as possible, barring any you know random things that come up. Okay. But it gives us a little bit of, of extra um, time off. Mm -hmm. Work life cool. balance. Mm, yeah. I hope you're impressed. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, yeah. uh, seven pm UK, twitch.tv slash interference for the season finale. Okay, that's all the news for now. So it just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved. You can play on the web at playinterference.com or just search for interference in the app store on your device and download the app. You can also get social with us. We're on Twitter at playifx, Facebook at playinterference, and patreon.com slash interference if you want to give us a bit of monthly support for the ongoing maintenance of the game, uh, building the new version uh, of the website build a new version of the apps that we're going to do after that adding in new game modes and we want to like 
make all kinds of cool stuff for you. Um, if you do become a patron, then you get support status on interference. So you get access to things like replays, you get the fancier invite system, you get the new game modes like Art Start and Recall. Uh, you get all kinds of cool stuff. And if you're a quiz player, you get a custom entrance shout out from Ava as well. That's totally cool. Okay, that's it for now. So we'll see you again next Saturday. Yep, have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.